Hi, I'm Dr. Shravani Karmuru, Consultant Internal Medicine, Renova Hospital, Slunga House. Today, I'm going to talk about the most frequently heard uh, slogan of the nowadays among the diabetic communities and pre-diabetic communities and as such general population, uh, reversal of diabetes. The term as such may sound like uh, we are getting cure for diabetes, but I want to make clear on that point or on that phrase that reversal of diabetes is something uh, controlling or uh, getting the diabetes, the overt sugar levels in the body into remission through self-centered lifestyle modification. These may uh, keep the patient who has diabetes on remission means in euglycemic state or normal sugar state without the help of medication through the lifestyle modification. It always helps the patient to maintain the sugars in a good range uh, and it is not uh, like promising or it will not be for every person who was on this program we will definitely need no medication. The thing here is like the person always have the sugars uh, with very well controlled along with the other systems in health provided with no medication or less number of medical support or medication support. So this is how the term reversal of diabetes informed to the community of uh, diabetics. So it's not like complete uh, uh, cure or uh, uh, taking off diabetes from the body. It is the condition or the uh, program involved saying that to keep the diabetes diabetes in remission in normal control through lifestyle modification like different kinds of balanced diet plans no one not one size fits everyone so there is no one meal plan for that fits everyone so it differs from person to person uh, ethic area to the area and uh, um, the race to the race so we have as such that take home point on the diet is like a balanced low calorie diet uh, is the thing according to all the nutrition requirements we have to go for the balanced diet and a low calorie low carb diet according to your preferences okay and the second thing among that is weight reduction a sustained or substantial weight loss of around 5 to 10 percent on the existing excess weight will always uh, reduce the insulin resistance the pathophysiology affecting the sugar control in the body will reverse back to the normal physiology by reducing the insulin resistance through the weight loss because obesity is the contributing factor for the insulin resistance in the body. So through this healthy weight loss we uh, get back that insulin resistance and we increase the efficiency of the insulin in the body thereby improving the efficiency of the body to utilize our sugars and then keeping the sugars in the under normal range. So to, through weight loss and one more is the physical activity at least three to three days and a max of five days in a week around 20 to 30 minutes of some physical activity uh, to, in, to in, utilize the calories and to uh, decrease the fat or insulin resistance in the body. So this will uh, help the patient to maintain the remission to means to maintain the sugars in a healthy range but few people this is most commonly advised or uh, this remission therapy will works very well uh, as we as you are expecting with no medication for the people who were recently diagnosed or who started this modification immediately after the diagnosis of the over diabetes or uh, it, it may also work for few people who has long term diabetes like 15 20 25 years of diabetes without medication or cut down in their number of medication to keep the sugars in the normal range and it also has got long term health benefits like pressure control cholesterol control and overall health status of the body so this is the term something that includes a healthy lifestyle to control the over usage of medication and not and requiring less number or no medication than the term saying no uh, cure of diabetes so please kindly understand that this is a helping or uh, adjunctive uh, that keeps uh, the disease in remission but not the cure okay thank you